what I'm doing is, is really different. Don't call him a red flesh apple breeder. Well, not all apples produce uh, juice. He's a red flesh apple juice breeder. I think it really has a lot going for it. MSU professor Stephen Van Aken has all this growth. The really, really red ones. If you squeeze them, they'll stain your hands. Which will eventually become... Where bitterness and sourness is considered sort of like a plus. This. Now you're not going to get people in the supermarket buying these things because you just can't eat them. MSU's research center in Clarksville is where the juice factory is happening. I looked at about 5,000 different varieties and identified about 100 with this trait. What trait? It became clear to me that there's a strong association between the amount of pigment in the juice and the palatability of it. Steven's ultimate goal? To create a product that's, that's very red and also has the phenolics levels that are needed to create a quality hard cider. And that would allow the growers to take all of their excess juice fruit, which is worth almost nothing to them, and create something really valuable. Changing the way sweet and hard cider. I don't know anyone who's actually interested in breeding for juice taste. I've only just begun. Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side.